Welcome to Soul Trek. This week's episode, I haven't really decided yet. I guess we'll call it Theological Reflection Part 2. So in the last Soul Trek, uh, I talked about um, spiritual journeys in terms of uh, the benefits of uh, doing theological reflection. And I tried to simplify the idea of theological reflections uh, down to its very basic uh, kind of thing. Uh, we can take a story, a joke, something from our own life um, that we can look at theologically we try to think about things from our tradition or things from scripture or whatever uh, that might help us unpack that story a little bit. And we'll get to see some, some truths, some relevant things, and then we can try and apply those uh, things to our own lives. So that's sort of the simple way of uh, looking at theological reflection. And uh, sometimes it's a struggle coming up with... Uh, uh, with topics for this uh, Soul Trek uh, video series, this blog, uh, video, log, vlog, whatever we call it. Uh, sometimes difficult to come up with uh, subjects. This week it wasn't difficult coming up with a topic. I knew what I wanted to talk about. I just didn't know how to go about it. And that's really been part of the struggle this week. Um, and then it dawned on me, if you're familiar with the morning messages that I started doing in March of uh, 2020, I guess it was, uh, to kind of uh, give some inspiration to people as we were dealing with the, uh, uh, with the pandemic in those early days. Uh, it was really, for the most part, most of those um, videos were um, theological reflections. I was taking a joke or an incident or something from my own life and applying it to our tradition, uh, to scripture, uh, to the time of season that it was in the liturgical year or whatever, and then trying to take some of those things and applying them uh, to, um, uh, to, to general life. Uh, it could be us dealing with the pandemic. It could be uh, issues that are going on in the life of the church or, or, or politics or whatever. That was what I was trying to do. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing kind of theological reflections happening, check out some of those morning messages because that's exactly what it was that I was trying to do in, in most of those. Um, and so I was trying to, the, the difficulty for today <laughs> was I was trying to come up uh, with another story to uh, uh, to talk about uh, so that that might help us uh, get a sense of theological reflections and how it can work in our lives. Last Sunday, I talked about uh, that, in fact, I'm not perfect most of the week, uh, that I'm sometimes in conflict with other people. And uh, the important thing for me to do is try and see the larger picture, uh, to try to see a larger timeline that my relationship with somebody that I'm in conflict with isn't just about that conflict, but it's about a, a, a bigger thing, a more important thing, our long-term uh, relationship. The scriptural story that I often associate with that is Adam and Eve uh, leaving the garden. And just as they're leaving, uh, God appears and gives them some clothing, things that they'll need for their journey. And uh, for me anyway, that's a way of, uh, for God uh, to indicate to Adam and Eve that our relationship isn't over, that we're still in relationship with one another. That's why God gives Adam and Eve the things that they'll need uh, for their journey. And I think that's easily extracted to us, that on our spiritual journey, no matter what we think we've done that might have interrupted that relationship with God, God still is in relationship with us and God wants us to know about God's love and mercy uh, and uh, forgiveness and uh, th and I think that's a great message and it's a great message for us um, 
you know, as we try and deal with a pandemic, as we try and deal with injustice in the world, as we try and deal with issues related to poverty uh, here and around the world. Um, you know, it's important for us to be able to see the bigger picture, to be able to see the long term uh, in our relationships and to know how important it is for us to uh, uh, to work at these things, uh, given the resources that we have available to us, um, given the people that we are, uh, given our best hopes and desires for uh, for this world, that those hopes and desires are in line with God's hopes and desires, that it isn't about wealth, it isn't about fame, it isn't about glory, it's about being in right relationship with God, uh, with one another, and in fact with, uh, with all of creation. So I encourage you to uh, use those elements of theological reflection and to find ways of uh, applying them to yourselves because then I think uh, on that journey, if you can imagine it being like a highway and there's road signs and there's other drivers uh, and uh, we can use the indicators that we have uh, from the people around us and all those road signs to help guide us uh, on that spiritual journey. That's what that theological reflection is meant to do for us, uh, to be one of the ways in which we're able to see uh, those uh, road signs, uh, to be able to see uh, our way clearly on this tremendously fascinating journey that we're on in our soul journey. Thank you, and God bless.